Hey guys, today we're making homemade tamarind sauce. So let's get started. I've got some tamarind pulp, or you can use tamarind paste, that I'm soaking in some warm water. And I've also got some minced up garlic, a chopped up hot pepper, a green onion that I've just chopped up roughly, and I've also got a handful of cilantro. And I'm going to just mash it up until it becomes a fine paste. You can use your hand to just chop up everything really fine, or use a blender or a food processor. We're just looking for it to become nice and pasty. So we're going to go ahead and add that all in and then give it a nice little mash up there. And we're also going to go ahead and after soaking our tamarind for about 30 minutes in that warm water, we're going to get our hands in there and remove all of the seeds and all the little stringy pulpy stuff that's in there. Now even though I did purchase seedless um, tamarind pulp, it did have a ton of seeds in it so you do want to watch out for that. Um, go ahead and remove all that and then you will see that it turns into this thick delicious looking paste um even though it is very sour so but it just it will really thicken up lovely we're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped up or minced up or fine uh, cilantro peppers you can leave the peppers out by the way if you don't want that but it just adds a little extra heat and we're gonna add that in give that a nice mix through and we're going to go ahead and carry that over to our stove now all the amounts and everything that I'm doing will be listed below in the description box so do don't forget to check that out. So we're going to go ahead and carry this over to the stove now. Now I did add about a quarter cup of water to this just to thin it out a bit so that when we cook it, it will start back to get thicker again. Um, so I'm adding in some salt and some pepper and um, that's nice and all bubbling away. I'm also going to add in a pinch of ginger powder. I find that the ginger powder really brings out that tamarind flavor. It's a very little bit, but of course you can leave it out if you don't have it. You don't need to add it. I'm just going to also going to, I'm going to add in my sugar, brown sugar. I'm adding in a cup here, but in total I ended up using uh, one and a half cups of brown sugar. You really want to taste as you go along with it because every batch of tamarind can be different. Some could be more sour than others. So just gonna let that cook down till it thickens up, let it cool, and then I'm straining it just to remove any of that excess pulp. I like a little bit of the pulp in there, so I left a little bit in there, but as you can see, there's a ton of extra stuff in there that I'm getting rid of, um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. As it cools, it will thicken up. Um, and that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I do recommend making this the day before you make doubles. If you are making this for doubles, do it the day before. It will, it will make your life a whole lot easier. Store it in the fridge once it's completely cooled and you've got a delicious tamarind sauce. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoy this recipe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.